podcast is intended for mature audiences. The views and opinions expressed are those of the panelists and do not reflect in any way those of the podcast partners, sponsors, or affiliates. Enjoy. Hi, this is Michael Buffer, and you're listening to the voice of the people. Let's get ready for Boxing Voice. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. Me, me, me. You are now tuned into the Boxing Voice Radio. Join us every Thursday and Sunday live at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. TheBoxingVoice.com Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another Border Wars edition. It is hashtag TBV. We are back with our Border Wars um, special and our Border Wars series. Uh, So if this is something that you haven't heard of, stick around if you're interested, if you're intrigued, if this is something that you're not interested in, don't worry. We'll be back uh, sometime today or tomorrow with another regularly scheduled podcast. Today we'll be talking about our own little boxing league um, that we have started working on our second season now. And uh, we got some interesting updates and matchups. Uh, the hipster hunter has found his nemesis for sure. And um, it's one that we're all excited of or for, right? Um, he had some previous built, but we'll get into all that. Um a little bit later, we're going to go ahead and uh, get the hipster on here. So let's head on out to the Golden State. He's no longer here in Jersey or in Alabama, back home. Dolly production. This is a beautiful performance against a very tough guy in Michael Johnson. How do you feel about it? Fox News. 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 He's been on my nerves. He's been on my mind for a while. Montilla, right? Isn't it La Mosca? Warren La Mosca Montilla. Sure, whatever. Um, it doesn't matter. He's the beast. You're disrespectful. You know that? And uh, that's why I want this fight. I didn't think anyone would challenge you. I know I'm cutting you off the way that I always do, but that's what <laughs> I always do. And I think it has to be said that you don't have any respect for him. That's not true. Um, That's what it seems like. And that's the way that that's you talk, to be honest. Turn yourself up, too. You sound so far. I don't know if I'm getting old or what. Maybe getting old, uh, or I might just be used to having you on right, right, right next to me, right? And now you're like thousands of miles away. But uh, while you adjust that volume, look, there are some intriguing things, and I'm putting on my commentator hat not just for your fight, but the entire card overall. Garcia brothers have become Border Wars, uh, I guess, version of the Charlo brothers. Um, these guys, Eric, especially. We received uh, new footage from Eric and Warren La Mosca Montilla, and and they both both look good. Uh, for one and a half seasons now, Canadian or Canada and Canadian. Canadians have been a running joke in the private border wars chat. Which congratulations to Fugati, he's been upgraded and he's been able to view the behind the scenes talk that happens in there. But, uh, Matt, yeah, I mean, you say that you respect them, but some great footage dropped today, probably the most intense sparring that we've ever seen in two seasons from Team Canada, and you tried to brush it off as nothing. That's exactly the main reason that I said, you know, media reaction time, I think Matt is bluffing. It could be nervous energy. Regardless of whether you're telling the truth or not, there's more than just Warren looking good and sparring to report. But I think that for those that dislike the hipster. Which are many. Well, haters, (laughs) beware. Montilla is here to destroy the hipster. That's what he's saying anyway. Here's the thing with Warren. And I don't think Warren is bad. I, I don't think I've ever really say that Warren. Ah, maybe I have. But again, I'm I'm me, you know, hyperbolic. I the first 30 seconds, the first minute of that sparring session, 
I saw everything I needed to see. I saw every, I saw enough holes in his game. What was that? And I, I don't want to get too into it because that goes into game plans. And that, again, that's that's too that's maybe too specific for me. Um, you got over ninety days. You can't expect that whatever you saw today is still going to be there come fight night. Well, we've had three months already. We've had me and him have had a training. Well, camp. You're, you're, you're so good. You have had so a good. training camp already. You're so good for show purposes. I say you let the cat out the bag. What's he gonna do? I mean, you see how 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 conceited I am. I'm laying out all my sparring. You can see me any minute, all minutes, every second. There's nothing to fear here but power. Yeah, I put out more rounds than anyone, so I obviously have nothing to fear. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say anyone. Uh, yeah, so far I've definitely put out more sparring than anyone in this season of Border Wars. What do you disagree with that? Anyone in this season of Border Wars named not named Ness. Uh, you put out less sparring than me. You have maybe more sparring, but you've not, you not put it out. I have, again, this I have about more sparring. I, I, have my, I have more sparring. The problem is... It's not published. People, if, if it, no, if I don't say it's sparring, you guys don't know. That's not my problem. I put out 48 vlogs already. You know, I, 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 spar, I spar three times a week. So, you know, you do the math. Anyways, I still will go on record and think that I... I put up more sparring than anyone here. Uh, well, let's be fair. No, oh, no, anyway, no, no, I'm not going to hold on. I'm not going to hold on. Oh my God. Canadian, let me finish. Canadian, they'll just say that that's pity pat, not sparring. That's great. And we've seen their sparring. So I may move on. Yeah, uh, and that's why, we, that's why we did a show. So it's not the same. Their sparring was intense. Warren and Babyface Garcia, who looked true. act like I haven't had intense sparring sessions, which is I'm hilarious. Not, I'm not it's saying that you did. But the question is, was it as intense as this? Absolutely, it's not more intense. So I again, it's not about what I what necessarily how the volume. But again, let's like, let me finish my point, Ness, because again, you keep going off track on these fucking stupid tangents, trying to derail my thought process, Ness. I see you smirking over there, you know, like is stroking your goatee. Is it me, or is does Warren Ness? already have you your, your ruffled your feathers ruffled already? I, I, don't, I don't like him. I don't like him. Yeah, I think it's plainly that, obvious that I do not like him. And that's However, However, hold that's on. What has me intrigued, Matt. How could you dislike a person you haven't met yet? So maybe okay. some will say that going into the fight, you're the one that's not even, you're not all there right now. Oh, you can you can have that argument. Absolutely. You can definitely say that. You can definitely say I'm, I'm over emotional about this. And let me tell you something. And maybe that's just me. Maybe that's Anyone just that watched the first man. fight knows that you react off emotion. Yes. We've seen you pacing back and forth before the bell even rung. We've seen you, you know, going almost ape shit after the bell rung so this right here it's right up the alley of the hipster hunter i mean but again that's just me i think i'm just the type of person where if if it was sean do across from me i would have had to get myself into that frame of mind and i think that's just me uh <laughs> i think that i think that warren from what i've seen is offensively gifted he's fast Oh, wow. No, I, no, I no, 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 no. I just want to, you know, I like you. So I just want to go ahead and right off the bat say, yo, big man stuff right there. I didn't yeah, think no, he is. You know, good. I, I do like his offense. I'm his scared. Offense is good. His offense is really good. The way he mixes up his shots, the, the way his angles, um, the way his footwork is for yeah. offense, I think is very t talented. Did you see and that natural. left, that left, because he's a southpaw. Did you see that down. left off the ropes? Baby face back yeah, him on the ropes. I know, I know exactly what you're talking and about. Right when, Again, thought, I've seen right when you thought it was over, he wide step, baby boom. face with Five a step, boom, left hand. Uh, left. It came up and down like a missile. All I could think was Matt would have went down from that shot. Keep uh, that, it real. Keep it real. Keep no. it real. You no, wasn't I've been, I've been here. I, When have I ever gone down, Ness? Yo, Matt, yes. this dude. No, 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 Ness, Ness. Can you can you remember a time right. where I've ever gone down? All right. All right, but what's that? What's the biggest guy you've been in there with? Shay. Okay, okay, okay. I, I would say so, right? Would you Would you not say so that Shay? Biggest boxer, yes, yes. Yeah. She's two hundred plus and highly skilled. Highly decorated. Definitely has a lot of accolades in the amateur world. Um, Spar Clarissa Shields, lead sparring partner for her on on a, on a couple of camps. She hit me with a flush shot. Flush Matt, shot. And Matt, I didn't go let's, down. Let's be honest. There's always going to be the question of whether or not she was going full power with you. But she hit me flush. And I think she, you can make whatever argument about power. She hit me flush. And I didn't go down. And you can, and again, 
that was a 200 pound decorated amateur as far as Calista Shields. We're talking about a 140 pound Filipino Canadian. I think I have proved my point. Anyways, back to what I saw with Warren and breaking him down. Offensively, I, there's a lot of things that I have seen that, that as a commentator or as the hipster hunter, what, what, who both. are you right now? Both. I can, I can not be both. I feel like it may come a little biased, but all right, let's see what, let's, let's hear you try. <laughs> um, but again, we saw that I think last time too, last for, for, for the run for border wars, you saw that he offensively had some, uh, some tools. Hmm. Um, but see the difference between this season and last season is mm -hmm. there was really no one there. We don't know that. I don't know. No. I, I don't know their camp. Well, all right, all right. I don't. I don't know enough about their camp now. I don't know how much we're no, going. No, what we know I, now. I don't. I don't necessarily care. I don't necessarily care. Yeah, I think, I'm, not, I'm saying knowing what we know. That's not my point, Ness. Let me finish my thought process and break down of Warren. But what I did see is that he is quite hittable. That that he that he does some defensive flaws consistently enough to where I went. I spar enough southpaws every day that i can catch him I, i'm gonna catch him here i, I was watching this I'm, I'm gonna catch him here i'm gonna catch him here right there i'm gonna catch him right there i'm gonna catch him and that was all within 30 seconds to a minute not 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 the four minute video of sparring so when i got through it i'm thinking i'm gonna hit this guy a lot <laughs> let me hit this guy a lot and he may hit me a lot that's possible i don't think i have the greatest defense but i think i have better defense than him i think i have far better defense than what he presents I'm going to give you a bone. You ready? Catch. Work on your stamina because I seen him bent over, hands on the ropes, legs completely tucked, knees barely touching the, 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 the ring apron after a round. Now, do we know what round? Do we know how many? No, we don't know. We don't know. But then again, you saw me go two rounds with a very decorated amateur, and I wanted to keep going. The coach had to sit me down. He had he, he had to tell me to go down, and oh, I wasn't. Well, 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 Matt, we all know that phrase. We all know that phrase. You have to save a fighter from himself. But I wasn't hurt. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, I was just getting in my groove at that point, and then the coach sat me down. Then I went back in with another amateur and hurt him with the with a step back right hand with no follow up. I'm telling you, Wait, one what day, day are we I'm talking gonna, about here? What day are we? Because you're, you're mixing days. I'm, I'm gonna. That was, that was one day. That was all one day. That was all the, the only day we. I don't know. But uh, I'm gonna hit Warren all night. I'm gonna hit Warren every single well, round. Look, I'm he unbiased. Would, he may hit me a lot. He may hit me a lot, and it's gonna be a matter of who goes I'm down first. I'm telling you right now. I'm betting money on my chin over his chin. I'm, I'm betting money right on my now. gut over his gut. I'm betting money on my power over his power. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, hey, look, Eric Babyface Garcia is taking a 160, 65 pound fight. He doesn't look either way, okay? And he's hitting Warren. He's hitting Warren. His biceps look huge. He's hitting Warren. And he's not holding back. He's not fighting like. A, 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 I score 170 pounders all the time. Again, what's the fucking point? See, this is you're making it about you, and that's okay. Maybe this but was. You made it about him, and it's about comparison. Well, he, you're saying that well, oh, he's throwing these 160 pounders. Well, so that's what this show is about. Who cares? We're all, all us little guys have to spar bigger guys. In his feelings. We have to spar bigger guys. You're in your feelings. You're no, in, this I'm, is why I'm I wanted hyped. this one. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. No, this is why, why I wanted this I one. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah, but this I is also why you lost your first I can't fight. Wait for him to come to my hometown for me to whoop his ass, make him cry in the ring, and wow. I'm going to send him back home to Canada, Matt, Matt. back to that duck fucking land over there, and it's going to be a great time. I can't wait. You know, smarter men than me have told men in similar position as yourself that it's probably better to be humble right now. You're coming off a loss. That's great. And you're in a tough fight. That's great. I'm not disagreeing with any of those points. And this is an awkwardly gifted Filipino. Sure. I think he's gifted offensively. Like you said, you, you, you hit it right on the nail, but the awkwardness is another thing. Now, are you technically more sound? Yeah. And due to this week or this past weekend, while many may not want to believe me, you know, the footage will be out in about a day or so. And 
I have to start to believe that there may be a world where Matt the Hipster Hunter possesses power due to a right hand that he may or may not have landed during sparring and I may or may not have watched. What were your exact oh. words? That's a fucking good right hand. Or but, along those lines. But, but that's that's one, but that's one right hand. When I seen Warren landing on, on Garcia in combination that's great. with power. That's great. So right away, I'm just keeping it real. Look, because we got to I love a challenge. I love a challenge. The Hipster Hunter show. We got to switch. So right away, I was like, yo, can Matt take that power? It's just the truth. You you can laugh all you want. He he looks like he got some power. And 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 the judges, you know, you're jabbing and looking cute. It might be good, but if every time he hits you, he moves you, the judges might give it to him. You just well, the great part is that I have far better defense than he does. And the next part, the next great part is that he doesn't have great defense. Hmm. He gets hit more than fucking anyone that I've ever seen on board of war so far. Allegedly. This coming from you. That's why I asked you to be Matt, the hipster hunter on the show, or the hipster hunter, the boxer. You can't be both. I don't think that, you know, I mean, look, you got all excited. I'm the best of both worlds. Probably a little bit of spit on your mic right now. I love it. I hear you, bro. Listen, let's switch. Um, Zach Mac Daddy Kramer. He mm-hmm. was on. He was off. Flip flopping more than flapjacks at IHOP. No, oh, I promoter. I don't know if he flip flopped more than Warren, but anyways, we can continue. Um. Well, yeah, he did not flip flop more than Warren. He actually showed up one time. So. Yeah. Bad analogy. Up. Uh, and he's showing up again. So he's going to be making now his second Border Wars attempt uh, at glory. And honestly speaking, Zach, I think you're in for a tough fight. I wanted you in there with a, with a Santiago, you know, a Christian Natural, you know, a, uh, I don't know, even even bring old Eddie Dust Eddie, Eddie Bola Mielda off of uh, Las Vegas Strip. Get his nose out of a, a set of titties out there and, and get him back in the ring if he could stay in shape long enough. But um, going against a guy like Eric El Terrible Cruz, a.k.a. Son of God, um, I think that, A, it makes Zach brave. It's definitely going to change the perception of him moving forward if he can at least put together a decent performance b um man it makes zach crazy why get in there with eric cruz when you first handedly seen what he did um or is it that you feel you can capitalize you know a lot of us get caught up in eric's performance because it was an upset performance we were not expecting i know i wasn't i'm a i'm a man who is honest i thought that the more declarated amateur who's won titles and and actually has gone to tournaments would wipe anyone out easily is what i thought eric cruz proved to be a phenom and his star has risen ever since then um a lot of fights he's had matt how many how many have fell out Ooh. Ever since that performance, too. It was like a star-making performance, but a damning performance. It was almost a mix of like a Triple G, Joe Smith-like performance where it was a, it was an upset, and then he became the most feared guy at the same time. Um, Eric Cruz, I think, took a easy payday because we all know there is a side bet between Team TBV East and TBV Canada about this fight. So I... I think Zach, for some reason, thinks he, he can win this. I don't know why. And like you said, he's very brave. And I'll admit that. He is very brave, so kudos to him. However, the bravest men in war are always the first to die on the battlefield. Always. And Zach's going to get laid out again. He's going to get hurt again. Um, he's going to throw that uh, another unicorn punch that misses. And he's... I don't know why Bobby Aram, hashtag Jose from Canada, thought this was a good idea. I don't know why he thought his brother-in-law going up against Eric Cruz was a good idea. 
Uh, maybe he hates him. Maybe there's some uh, blab, bad blood between family members there. Um, this is malpractice by the promoter, in my opinion. Put on the commentator hat for a second. Um, I, I can't wait to ask Bobby Aram why he pushed this fight when there were easier fights for Zach. There were. And he chose to take a, a much harder one when he didn't have to for, for a very odd reason to make a bet that he most likely will lose. Um, I mean, if you look at it like this, I think that the whole Canada seat, and this is what I mean by, by I need Matt, the hipster, the analyst, commentator, the co-host of this show to show up. Because Matt, the hipster hunter, the boxer, dislikes Canadians. Doesn't give them a chance. And uh, I think that this is a different Team Canada. Uh, I don't know who's the captain, even though we can easily point the finger at Jose. He is the money man behind, you know, Canada. But is he, could he just be that? And is the true captain, the one that's inspiring people, could that be Anthony Edwards' opponent, Eric Babyface Garcia? He's who I see rallying the troops, so to say, kind of uh, Troy-like. You know? Like the movie Troy? Yes. Okay, okay. I don't know if you meant like a person named Troy. <laughs> no, why? Why would I just pick I was, a I, random person named Troy and not someone that actually goes to battle? Sure. I'm sorry, I just wanted to make sure. Troy battle has all his... Yo, I'm sorry. Is he, is he Canada? Well, I do respect the Garcia brothers. I respect Warren's ability. Maybe not Warren the person. I respect Warren's ability. Um, I respect Zach. I, I I think Zach's a great guy. You know, I, and on some level, I respect Jose, business wise, of course. But I I don't understand this matchup. Again, you like you said, you you brought it up. There was an easier fight out there for Zach. So why put him up against Eric when it seems like he's such a well? Underdog? Because maybe maybe Zach is like this. Maybe maybe Zach and Jose are like, look, we could bring you back. We could bring you back. You could look pretty. You can flex your muscles, but are you going to get any credit? A decent fight or a win over Cruz, because if he's competitive with Cruz, then what? Listen, Cruz has his flaws. Cruz eats a lot of fucking um, food. Food in general. Goes to the fair every week. And, you know, I was telling, I don't know if I was telling you or I was telling my girl, but I was like, can we believe Cruz? He says he's son of God, but. Can we believe that he's going to the fair? How do we know he's really not working? I mean, he's never shown us a scale. The other fighters that have failed weight on those uh, Matt and Ness just show up and, and, and weigh you days. Yeah, we're like Vada, just showing up yeah. randomly weighing people, okay? You no, know, they fail, but we've never been able to do that to Cruz. So all, we, all we've been doing is taking us. his word. He, 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 he could be working for all we know. You know, it's easy not to, to 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 for you to be able to tell a person's weight with clothes on. I mean, it's simple. But it, um, we only cared about his weight when he had to go down to a weight class. Like he doesn't have to with, with Zach. Zach's a two hundred fifteen pounder. Well, now, now, now we don't, and that just changed about a week ago or less. Really? Go. You know. <laughs> so, um, yeah, he's not. He, he doesn't have to worry about the weight. But we still need to figure out: is he putting in the work? You know, um, while I kind of understand the reasoning behind the backyard sparring, it's still that. I don't think it's the same. I know that they're hitting each other. I mean, I think Marvin was dropped, right, by by Cruz. Again, Cruz demonstrating the power on one of those. Oh, dropped. I, I wouldn't go that far. Oh, you, you it was a little. I, I, don't, I don't remember seeing that. I don't remember seeing that. Cruz is there. Cruz, you're gonna have to call in because uh, I think Cruz put a little video out. Um, look, Cruz said he was 205 yesterday. Damn, Cruz, come on, man. Hey, but look, he's going up. He's gaining weight. He's gaining weight. Yo, Cruz, if you're not gonna capitalize on going after Nestor Gibbs, if you're not gonna capitalize and go after Nestor Gibbs, then what's the point in going up to heavyweight? Because you know I mean? that's the money fight, right? You're the money fight in the heavyweight division. No but one Matt, else. Is. But Matt, but Matt, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Cruz. 
you said like, oh, he's he's dangerous. He's he's he he's not getting a fight in his division. Let's be honest. When he gets to 175, he's got a world of trouble. Doomsday is there. Midi is there. Jose is there. Enrique is there. Like if he wants fights, he could get them right now. They're they're, they're you know everybody's tied up. But if Midi, according to him, he's dropping Doomsday on January 16th. I mean, Eric Cruz could step in right there for Border Wars three. But he's got to he's got to refrain. He's got to be militant, and you know he can't. I don't. I, I mean, or 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 we assume he can't because he's posting gifs of fucking donuts and shit. Here's the thing, Cruz, that he could just be like a Roberto Duran, where he balloons up a lot. He's that guy that can't stay disciplined in that way, but he's just naturally a gifted fighter, a gifted boxer. I think Cruz is that. Cruz it's funny you say that because they were having a conversation in the Border Wars chat about fasting to make weight. It's like, yo, these guys are looking for corners to cut, Matt. I'm just saying. Yo, that's unbelievable. Eat a salad with no ranch and no cheese and eat a lot of fruit, eat fish and chicken. Like, it's not that difficult. Like, that's all you need to do, basically. And that's all you eat. Nothing fried. Like, I, I don't understand why it's difficult for these guys. It doesn't taste good, Matt. Easier said than uh, done. Good. It tastes good. Yes, it does. Yeah, but not to them. You got it's it's an acquired taste. You definitely have to get used to it and, and, and have your mindset in like, all right, I'm gonna be on this diet and I'm not gonna be eating the fried food and fries anymore. I mean, Cruz is from Texas for God's sake. He's he's got his hands and ribs all day. Here's the thing though, that was a part of this whole event and this whole movement is yeah, to move weight. weight. Yes, to get a lot of these fans and listeners of the show and, and the sport who aren't in the greatest shape in the best of shape through the sport they love. The goal was for us to get Georgie from being a guy that puts on a button shirt and the buttons become a loaded weapon to being a guy that looks good in a button shirt. And uh, for Cruz, who is really good at boxing, who is who could be something in Border Wars, you know, who could be in the Hall of Fame on TBV Border Wars, um, for him not to capitalize and get himself healthy in the best weight class for him, I, I don't understand it. And I will, I will definitely... Uh, have a, a conversation with Cruz about that. For Yo, sure. check out Marvin in the chat. Y'all worried about where y'all need to worry about getting knocked out by these Texas boys. It's yo, funny. Yo, what do you mean? What's, exactly. What you, <laughs> Mr. 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 Marinate, <laughs> a.k.a. Bob Arum over there. <clears throat> yo, yo, Marvin, you guys are throwing like 12 punches around. Oh, man. Like, come on. Yo. Get out of the park. Get in the ring. Get some I want Marvin in the to ring. call in because I could swear that Cruz put a little clip, like a little clip, of him and Marvin in the Border Wars chat, and 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 he slipped, he 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 pulled right, and he caught Marvin. Marvin went down real quick. Boop, went down. It was a quick one, fast, flash knockdown. It was in the chat, then I'd probably definitely missed it. Eric Cruz is by by the way did call in. Uh, so if we want to go to him, not quite yet because we still got a lot of updates. Um, I haven't dropped the footage because today has been a. You know, busy day for Border Wars. A lot of footage out there. You could definitely go check out Tony G and his foe, Iron Sal, both updated Border Wars with uh, mutual sparring. Uh, Team Jose uh, submitted some Warren La Mosca sparring and Eric Babyface Garcia, opponents of both Matt and Anthony Edwards. And uh, another... I wanted to release your footage, Matt, because it's like, yo, Warren's going to be out there shining, dropping these combinations on Eric Babyface. Let me show the world what Matt did when he came to the East Coast, because the upper hand that you have is like, if this were true amateurs, you're already a national. I mean, you're, you, you, you at least fought in the nationals and you're open class because you're going to Vegas. You're going um, to the East Coast. You're going all over to get sparring which an amateur travels to fight where these guys are, they're fighting in their homes. They're fighting in their backyards and they're fighting their buddies. It's a little different. And, and I know that you already twice now have gotten to see the difference with sparring with your friends and then sparring, um, with, you Absolutely. know, pros and amateurs and, 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 you know, people that actually do this for real. So, um, I didn't get to post yours. It is coming out probably after this show. It's uploading, to be honest, which it might be ready already because it was at like 76%. But um, unfortunately, uh, I got a tip that day. Something happened in that gym, 
And um, it's only a matter of hours before that information is released and Team Canada knows what happened. So it looks like um, Enrique Church is on the line because he he sensed he sensed that this show, uh, since it was titled TBV Border Wars Update, he sensed that um, he may come across this. And, and we've been seeing Enrique back in the gym um, <laughs> recently. And uh, unfortunately for him, he's out for a week, Matt, I'm told. Okay, come on. Like, yes. come on, Enrique. His and trainer told him to stay out for a week, if not 14 days, due to a suffered injury in sparring. So last time he was there Yo, come was on. Saturday, what, the 14th. So. Yeah, it's, when the he ducked me. it's the 21st. He's got seven days. You know, maybe he goes back to the gym Monday. Maybe he takes another seven to be 100%. You just never know with these injuries. But let me bring him on because obviously, you know, um, he I'm receiving all this information secondhand. Yo, what up? Um, I'm in a loud venue. You sound good right now. Whenever you want, but... uh. All right, well, good, man. I, I mean, I'm real high in spirit, but, you know, unfortunately, I fractured a rib, you know. Um, Matt Hunter called the Jersey Boy way. It wasn't by him. Just FYI, Jose, don't get hyped up. Um, it was a heavyweight, and uh, and uh, it was a body shot, obviously. And, uh, you know, I, I couldn't I couldn't, uh, I couldn't work out, and I was told that, you know, you won't recover fully. And you'll be vulnerable to the same pain if I spar through this again. Damn, later. Matt. I, I mean, I wait, 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 Enrique. Down. But now you're just now you're telling your opponent to aim for your body because you're saying it's not going to heal. No, it's going to heal. It's heal. It heals in 14 days. There's no way to, you know, cast up the way you cast your wrist or your finger up to heal it. You know, your ribs. You can't do that. The only way is rest. And stretch. Um, so it, I mean, I'm gonna walk around with it with pride. I know how to defend my body more now. You know, it's conscious. He could come for the body. I hope so because that leaves his head open. You know what I'm saying? That leaves his chin open. That leaves his chest open. You know, so violin or not, throw that rock music on that hardcore shit because I think my fight is gonna be. A way more exciting fight than a Mocha uh Matt Hunter fight, you know? Or why you think that? I don't Could know who probably less that. skilled too. Well just because I I think I think I have I think right now, actually I, I know right now that before I was fat, right? So I'm fifteen pounds lighter, right? I know how to move around now before I was just coming to fight. I mentioned that over and over. Um, and when he moves left, he's going to have a fist right there. When he moves right, he's going to have a fist right there. When he moves back, I'm going to be right in front of him on the right side of him or on the left side of him. So he could go for the body. It doesn't matter. I'm actually really pissed off about this fight just because I lost. So there is animosity. There is emotions that's burning up in my stomach, and I just really can't wait to get it over with, you know? So, yeah, it's going to be a war, I'm, and I promise that January 16th, you know, you're going to see a way different fighter. And two weeks from now, when more sparring comes out, it's going to just be another different fighter. I'm sparring against guys they call Priamantis, meaning his hands come from all over the place. His angle is awkward. He's out the way immediately. And I'm right there, and I caught him with a hard piece, and it's on the sparring, but the angle probably was wrong. So you couldn't really see it, but uh, yeah, Jose got his hands full, man, and he should just be thinking about me and nice promotion. So, you know, take his ass to the gym, keep getting kicked in the stomach because uh, it's gonna happen, man. Sixteen, <laughs> I will be there. What you mean, keep getting kicked in the stomach, yo? <laughs> What's that about? <laughs> yeah, I saw him. He he posted some footage. He's like doing reverse sit ups on the ring apron. And his trainer's kicking him while it's happening. And he's grunting. Uh, uh, I don't know. I never saw that in any 24-7 episode, <laughs> any gym training, you know. 
So <laughs> I don't know. I'm not going to be kicking. <laughs> I'm not going to be kicking. I'm going to be throwing punches. So, yo, so Enrique. It. Now, now, now you're you're making all the necessary changes. I mean, obviously, I'm a I'm a stable mate, so I know you 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 bought the Manny Pacquiao's. Um, you know, you got you got new yeah. gym gear. You're taking it serious. You're dedicated, Indeed. like you said. You're you're already 15 pounds lighter than your first fight, and you got three months left. But what about Jose? Can he be making those same changes and improvements? It's fine what he does, you know, and you could say losers focus on this. I'm really just focusing on improving myself. You know, I'm obsessed with watching my tape against Jose. So I'm just thinking about what I will be doing and increasing my power and my speed and my agility. And, you know, of course, my stamina. I'm doing 25 burpees nonstop in 30 seconds. I'm doing fucking high knees like a football player. I'm then taking 10 second breaks and doing high knees again up to a 50 count. It's all about the win. I'm going through the win, and that's why the weight is being uh, melted off immediately, uh, that rapid rather. And uh, I'm just, I'm just, I'm ready to throw as many punches as possible and gas him out. And in the second round, gas him out even more and hopefully put him on his knee or give him, you know, see him wave no mas. Or the referee say no, Moss. One of the two. So just he should be prepared for that. Well, I I I know that people may take this with a grain of salt because I'm a a stable mate, b a friend. I was in the ring with you, uh, you know, this past Saturday, and obviously, you know, um, I felt the difference. I felt the difference. I've been saying it ever since. You know, you hit me, you hit me hard. You hit me hard. I, I felt the power. I seen the little flashes, you know. I've seen the little flashing lights. Bam, 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 bam. Um, you're a little dirty though. I was uploading the footage today and I seen I, I noticed how I hurt my arm. It was you cheating, holding my glove, trying to yank me to you. But so you know, Jose, you need to watch out for the dirty tactics. Those punches come from awkward uh positions. Sometimes you might uh, Enrique might let a hammer fist go, Matt. That's That's true. True. I don't know if that happened. I didn't realize it wasn't it wasn't intentional. I would like to see the footage. You know, <laughs> um, those weren't in my intentions. <laughs> I mean, it's possible because, you know, as you say, when, you know, somebody hits you and you get hit second again after that first hit and you just want to release and your feet ain't planted right. However angle you are, you throw a punch, and that punch may come off like a hammer. But, you know, I wasn't trying to tiger you at all. You know what I'm saying? If you get the reference to tiger at the MMA gym, throwing those hammers at that medicine ball. Nah, nobody get it? All right, well, cool. So, you know, um, nah, those ain't my intentions. And those moments that you said, those flashing lights moments that you said, I'm, I'm going to learn how to compress them for, you know, a great 120 seconds nonstop. And that's the goal. And he could make those adjustments and we'll have a hell of a fight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, just remember to give yourself some room because, you know, you, you're throwing a lot of punches. You are throwing more punches. Your intensity definitely was up. You were you were you seem to be a, a possessed man on Saturday. But uh, remember to give yourself some space. Listen, I'm going to go to your opponent. Thanks for calling in. We're going to go to Jose in Canada. What's going on, my friend? You heard it there first. You heard Enrique taking it serious. And, and obviously, you know from me, you've seen the, the, the footage firsthand. And um, that's what caused you to release some Canadian footage, seeing Enrique. You said that's all you were waiting for. Were you impressed with what you saw? And try not to be 100% Canadian with the response. <laughs> Yo, can, can you hear me again or not? I'm just on, a, on another hand screen that I typically use. Can you guys hear me clearly? We hear you on your speakerphone. It's some bullshit. Oh, it's not speakers. It's headphones. Do you guys not hear me? I could tell. I could just talk to my head. Nah, it's good. We hear you. Okay, Go. anyway. I'll just talk like this then. Thank you. Oh, okay, anyway. Yeah, man. Yeah, I, I saw him. I saw him release that. So I was I was definitely holding back, you know, because just in the spirit of things, I wanted it to come out. It did. And then, like I said, I told you this before, Ness, for the previous Border Wars 1, man. I told you. I didn't think uh, Enrique was taking it serious. You know that. I told you that. And... um you know what? You never know what's going to happen in boxing, man. So, I mean, this is, this is the fight. And if, you know, whatever happens, happens. But I want 
to have the best opponent possible. I'm not doing this at like, you know, my later 30s to, to, you know, to just have an easy win and just say I won. Like, I actually want to have a challenge and, and this is it, man. And I already envision Enrique coming forward, doing this, doing that. I, I know how intense he is and I know the stamina he has. So I'm also making adjustments to do that, right? Luckily, I have, you know, sparring partners in the gym that are perfect styles uh, that I would think that, that have a style very similar to Enrique. Like, you know, just push forward high intensity guys, very top heavy, very strong guys. And, and I'm working my, uh, my strategy around that, right. To be able to, uh, to, to, to handle those guys first. And, and, and then from there kind of prepare myself mentally for, for the fight that's going to come, right. It's going to be a mental battle. Um, were you, you excited? Know, there's not much difference. Between them. Oh yeah, man. I was no, excited. Like, as soon but as I, I mean, excited. Like, shoes, I, was like, I mean, excited to hear that your opponent has to sit out possibly two weeks and suffered a fractured or bruised rib due to a body no, shot no, from a heavyweight honest, I, I that will later be confirmed. Uh, no, no, to be honest, that's something I don't like. Um, you know, uh, it happened to me in the last preparation, and that's the danger of sparring is that you can run the risk of, uh, of getting injured easily, right? So, I mean, it's shitty. That's the unfortunate part about sparring. Really... There is nothing that prepares you quite for a boxing match like sparring, but <laughs> just like a just like a sparring match, it's dangerous, man. You can get hurt, right? So, you know, uh, again, you know, luckily it's just a couple of weeks off, and that's more time he can kind of just use to to prepare himself mentally and just get geared up and everything else. And it's all good, man. Just a little uh, reset to go back at it. So, so no, I'm not happy. I don't want him, you know, at three quarters of the man. I want the full man, you know. That's what I want. That's what he wants. And that's why I keep saying, I honestly believe this is going to be the fight of the night. We're not as, as skilled as, as Mitty and Doomsday or anybody else, but, but uh, you know, we're going we're gonna to bring it, man. I think it's going to be the fight of the night. Well, you made a case for it. Uh, we, we will have to see come fight night. Anything you want to add from, uh, you know, as you put on your Bobby Aaron promoter's hat before I go to anyone else? Yeah, yeah, maybe one thing. I just wanted to address the Warren situation. Well, actually, Matt, actually, actually, actually before you address that, won't you address the Zach situation? You did receive some earlier heat in the show. I don't know if you you, you got the message or not, but in yeah, the, yeah, in no, the beginning heard, of the heard, opening heard. of the show, there was some criticism of your matchmaking. There, there's always been criticism. Let me just clarify one thing. People call Canadians the ducks, yet we had a man who was 5'10", who's never boxed in his life, never fought in his life, fight a giant six foot five who, who just involves in his life in boxing. We had a guy who never boxed again, and Alex, who fought Doomsday. That was a sure loss, you know? We had me fighting a bigger man than Enrique, you know? The only fight that was easy on paper was Angelo versus, um, Angelo versus uh, uh, Cruz. And Cruz, Cruz humbled that man. Cruz taught that guy a lesson. Be that, be that a lesson for everybody on Border Wars, man. There's no such thing as an easy win. doesn't matter who you are. doesn't matter how hard you hit, how fast you are. You can get beaten that ring, and that was proven, right? So, um, but at the same time, a little respect for Canada, man. You guys don't see what's happening. We're all stepping up. You know, Zach's fighting the, the son of the Lord himself, Eric Cruz. And, and it's a beautiful situation because I get to kill two birds with one stone. If Zach happens to win, I also gain respect in my gym here. And I get to tell him that my brother-in-law, Bum, who's never fought anyone before, went and beat the guy that knocked out the coach. Boom. One rock for me. Second, I get to do the same thing to TBV. I get to have my brother-in-law, Bum, who's a nobody, nothing, beat the son of God and then get respect for us so that we deserve back, right? So, so in my opinion, it's a win-win, man. If Zach loses, he loses, man. He's okay to lose that. He fought a giant. Why wouldn't he fight Cruz, man? No big deal. But Zach doesn't even throw a traditional right. one-two. Like, I mean, he, he winds his punches up. It, it just technically, it seems like a nightmare. It seems like you're serving him up. Some are yeah, even going as far is, as saying, but, but do you, you even remember, love your brother-in-law? Zach's not going to. This is what you guys got to understand, man. At the end of the day, you got to go to the game, and, and you got to use the style that brought you there. Zach's not going to fucking box. Zach's going to test the guy's heart. Zach's going to test the guy's inside see what he's got see see yes Cruz talented yes there's no other throwing over when do we right? get yes, some sparring footage 
when do we get some sparring footage of this quote unquote Zach that is going to test the balls of Eric Cruz? Ever. We've never seen anything like that in sparring or in his real <laughs> fight. Yo, come, Yo, come on. on. Well, we're, we're doing, we're doing sparring today and we're going to take footage of it. And I'm telling you right now, Zach's just a plug. He's just going to move forward, move forward, move forward. He's not going to catch a guy with a nice two piece combo. He's not going to dip the, dip the shoulder and catch a guy with an uppercut. That's not what he's going to do. He's going to fight sloppy. He's going to fight ugly. He's going to swing, but he's not going to stop. And, and if Cruz has the power to knock him out, then so be it. But if he doesn't, he's in for a long three rounds, man. And he's got a gut check, and he's got to see if he can do it. And if he can do it, all the props to him. But I don't know, man. I, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I, I, think Zach, I think Zach is a, a quitter. I think Zach is probably using Border Wars to get to Los Angeles to become an Instagram model. You know that's what he likes to do. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I say you need to uh, <laughs> put some security, some sort of insurance on your investment with Zach, man. He might take a dive. Well, I, I've done it now, man. With this, I've done it. He knows now it's not the, like, you know, even the aesthetics. He doesn't have this big six foot five, you know, Dominican man that he's fighting that he could tell everybody, look at this giant on face. Now on paper, if you look at the matchup, he should kill Cruz. No one knows that Cruz is a killer. Cruz is a little, like, petite, like, you know, soccer ball shaped man. You know what I mean? Like, he's just small and round, you know? So, I mean, his friends are going to laugh at him if he gets beat by Cruz. They don't know Cruz is the son of God, right? So, I mean, Zach's, the optics work against him in this time, right? So he's got to go in and get the win. And I don't know. So I, that, that's going to be what it's going to be. But I think people should step back, ignore the, the Cruz fight, and just look at these two men. Just look at them. And, and you can't tell me that the one man doesn't stand a chance against the other. You know? I mean, listen, it's, it's you, you do a great you job. You do a great job of selling it. But I know both men, and I've seen this, the, the level of, of talent in Cruz and the level of in Zach. I would have really liked the better fight. But, look, we're going to believe in you, and we're going to believe in Zach, and we're going to hope that January 16th we have a great fight. Um, which brings me to your, your next fighter, Warren La Mosca. You went through hell to get this man on the card. What is it about this young man that, I don't know, intrigues you or interests you, but it, it, it's definitely costing you a pretty penny to bring uh, Warren to the United States and uh, leave it to Matt to say only to get his ass kicked? Well, <laughs> excuse me. It's a, it's a redemption story, man. As soon as that happened with Warren, believe it or not, all of our friends, they were like, yeah, of course. They, no, one was, no one is in doubt of what happened. Everybody <clears throat> imagined that Warren was capable of doing that. You know, so, so it, the kid, he suffered embarrassment, humiliation, right? Like everyone always kind of disparages his character and thinks he's a flake, you know? And there's nothing worse as, as a man to be considered as non-reliable. And that's kind of where, where he fell, right? So um, this is a chance for him to, to prove you know, to himself and to his friends and to everybody that, that he can actually go there and that he can do something of himself, right? And, and I'll tell you one thing that I don't like about his style. He's a converted southpaw. And he hits hard with that left hand. But believe me, at the end of the day, it, it's what he's going to do with his right hand that's going to be most damaging to Matt. He does that jab hook very nicely. I, I've, I've been caught with it many times. And I can tell you one thing, that guy's got a chin. He's got a chin because he only spars with big guys. The little guys don't spar in the form because he's too strong and that's the truth that's why warren spars with me he spars with eric he spars with chris he spars with um uh with all the big guys in the gym right so so that's just one thing for matt to keep keep an eye oh i'll tell you one last thing he didn't spar spar bigger guys yeah. as far as one thing that the garcia yeah but the garcias are, are sparring for real with him matt and and bo joe yeah, yeah. are real with me exactly what i was gonna say Info no, Joe's fucking 47 years old. Truth. I guarantee you he hits harder than both the Garcia brothers. Yeah. How could you guarantee something no, no, like that? You only you only losing I credibility. It's fine. It's fine. It's great. Losing yeah, credibility this, live this, on this, air. Losing credibility by saying that these two guys who've never boxed before don't hit harder than a guy who's been boxing a heavy bag. Yeah, by guaranteeing it. That's for how 40 years. I trust the guy that can do that. That's been doing it for 40 years. Hey, man, January 16th can't come Yo, soon Matt. enough. I push for this fight, all right, because I'm, I, want, I want the best Matt. 
And I know only Warren's going to bring that out. Oh, man. And you guys can't even imagine the shit I'm going to talk if you lose. <laughs> yeah. And here's, here's the thing about the Garcia brothers, man. The one thing they brought to the camp, it's not the dedication. It's not the heart. It's not the, all that. Because everyone They brought that the fire. They, bring, they got you guys funny. alive. That's what they oh, brought yes. to the camp. Oh, you know why? Because the first time I sparred with Eric, he caught me with a fucking uppercut. Like, he hit me like I just grabbed his girl's ass. Like, those guys, they don't fuck around in sparring. And that's something we did too lightly. We were sparring. At I seen 50, him catch. 60, uh, now when we spar, we spar I seen him catch Warren with an uppercut. Oh, yeah. He likes the uppercut. He likes well, it. You saw, you saw that blood. You saw that blood on Chris's face. That was Eric who punched his own brother in front of his brother's girlfriend right in the face. Busted up his nose. <laughs> that's the intensity they bring. That's my so type of brother. Nice. I told you, that's now our version of the Charlos, man. We got our own Charlos now. The yeah. Garcia Charlos. Yeah, but they're Canadian versions. So they're like Charlo Brothers light. Matt, you're a hater, Matt. You're a diet version. You're a hater. You're a, hater. a diet version. I ain't seen nothing diet about anyway, that sparring. Boy, that's, that's... Hey, yeah, Bobby. It's nice, man. I'm telling you. And, it, and he, it's good. It's high intensity. Do you think that Matt is just in denial, or is it the nervous energy that has him like this? Could it just no, be I energy? Could it just like, be energy? Could it just be hyped? Like confident young man, man. man. There's nothing. It's better for someone to believe in themselves that highly than, than to doubt themselves that much because it is it is a mental game, man. So so good for Matt thinking he's gonna he's gonna kick Warren's ass. The only I mean, thing is, the only bad thing about talking so much is that you got to back it up. That's what because, I'm saying. You know, he sound, needs to sound, shut sound, it up, well, tone it down a bit. Why? And, and let his hands do the talking like real fighters. Go watch my sparring. Absolutely, man. But but you know what? I'll tell you one thing, Matt, and, and this is one thing that, that's true. Like, Warren is sees Matt differently, too. Warren doesn't see Matt as like a cupcake like we all saw him before. Matt's a different person, man. He's better prepared. He's he's got an actual nice style now. He he looks to be in good shape. Whatever. He, he stays away well at range. I'm telling hey, you. Hey, Jose. He's a different fighter. Jose, how fight. much bigger is 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 Warren from Mark from Australia? Because that's another thing. Even Matt, Matt's even got international experience. That motherfucker. International amateurs. Yeah, Mark wasn't throwing the punches like Eric was, man. Come on. I hear you. I'm asking like, you. I'm asking you. I'm asking you in, asking you in terms of. I'm talking about in terms of body weight and height. How how, how much different you met both of them? Um, Eric's like one of those weird not guys. Eric. I don't know how tall I'm he is. I'm gonna jab He's you. Kind of not seen. Eric. Compare Warren and fucking Mark from Australia. Oh, Warren's like uh, kind of like Maddie, man. He's just he's just a little shorter and he's like Matt. He looks I, so I much remember. bigger like, on camera. Uh, Warren, Warren, does, looked, yeah, the Australian, that, yes. Man. Yeah, the guy that you sat with, Maddie, at the fight in New York, that guy. No, 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 no. That's that's Alex from Australia. No, oh, yeah, no, I don't know. Mark but Mark yet. is from Mark. Australia as well. The one that, oh my God, he was in Vegas with us. No, What's but wrong I never met him. Yo, but Jose wasn't in Vegas with us. No, I, I never, of course, Jose was, was in Vegas with yeah, us. <laughs> but barely. Whatever. But I'll tell you one thing. Warren's Warren's about five six. Five six five seven weighs about walks around at about. Matt, check the register. Pounds. I think that's Anthony. Guy. Is that my boy Anthony oh, Queen that's City that's Cobra? That's big guy. Queen City Cobra he must have. He, he must that's have smelled the, the blood in the water when he seen that sparring, uh, Jose. Oh man, for me, like if Eric loses that fight, I'll be shocked, man. I'll be shocked. Like no, no offense. To Yo, but else, you but kidding me? Hold on a minute, Jose. Hold on a minute. Are you kidding that you're shocked if Eric loses that fight? Are you seeing the shots that Warren was hitting? Warren impressed me more than Eric, unfortunately. So, uh, Eric, I hope you're listening to this tomorrow no, on no, your no. run. Step it the fuck up. You're letting that little 140-pound yeah. dude hit you with combinations like that. Got your head bouncing around like an ESPN bobblehead. Just saying. Yeah, but then Eric ended up, he ended up doing six rounds after that. Like The guy is supremely competitive, and he's fucking hard-headed as fuck. He just won't lose, man. Like, you hit the guy, you catch the guy, you think you're beating him, and then the next round he just comes at you even harder. And, and he's a beast. He actually has real power, like legitimate power. And, and he throws those fucking uppercuts like you have no idea. Anthony, you seem like a good kid. Watch your fucking chin, man, because those uppercuts are going to come flying in. Man. I could just tell you from experience. I, it's so hard um, to believe, so, so Jose. Kind of, you know. I know him so well, and I remember the, you know, that first promotion is so fresh in my mind. It's like he, he souped all his guys up. 
he he had us thinking Matt Gregor was working, and McGregor went in there with his hands in his pocket the entire fucking fight. He didn't even try. No, McGregor was. That's why they're not coming though, Nets, because those guys they didn't represent us well, man. Well, you know, no, their persona no, McGregor's not I'm coming because Doomsday broke his fucking nose. <laughs> <laughs> well, that too. That's too, but they're not He's even breathing out of point, straws, man, Matt. Pom -pom boy. <laughs> you know, and it's true. He did. He did fuck him up, man. I'll, I'll, I told Ness that, right? He did. Like, you know, he has like a, like, you know, soft tissue damage in his nose, right? I mean, that's the power of Doomsday. That's what I told Mitty. I'm like, it's no joke, man. Like, look, uh, you know, Doomsday could be losing two and a half minutes of a round or, or a minute and a half of a round. And all he needs is 10 seconds to catch you with one. It's the equalizer, right? It's, it's yeah, man, real. but you sit around waiting on that 10 seconds and you're going to end up losing. Listen, Jose, we got other people to get to. I want to thank you, obviously, for your participation. Yeah, boy, thank you for your team. Send that sparring and step on the fucking apron. Everyone stands on the apron. Don't fucking give us in-between rope footage. Garbage. Um, Since he brought him up, we got to talk about Doomsday here. Guy, uh quickly turn to the worst person on the card um I'm living worried. up to the name doomsday bringing nothing but doom on a day uh he, he did not train with matt at all while matt was in jersey again he 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 did he stood 100 percent away from coach Mitty while Mitty was in jersey for two weeks he stayed he stood away from me I haven't heard from Doomsday. Uh, occasionally, you see a post that he's in the gym. Uh, but we've seen a whole lot of Mitty over the last two weeks. Border Wars has been updated on, on Mitty sparring. Wellington Romero, the undefeated Rock Nation welterweight, sparring numerous people. Um, what's your thoughts? I mean, we're three months out now. A couple shows ago, the running joke was Doomsday making weight. Now, with all this MIDI sparring, I have to change the narrative, not only from is Doomsday going to make the weight, but is Doomsday going to be able to keep up with the activity of a Coach MIDI at this point? And it's just a dedication thing also. Like, MIDI seems dedicated to his craft. He's He definitely is pushing it. Because I know he's in his 30s, and he wants to make one run in, in this career in boxing professionally. He already has another fight lined up. When he already had another fight, what, a month ago? So he has another fight lined up, I think, in November sometime. So Mitty is 120% dedicated to this sport. Um, the fact that he did so well against Wellington Romero uh, is proof of what he can do and proof that he is putting in the work. Um, yes, Mitty, I think, has a little some defensive flaws here and there. Um, there's some things offensively I would like him to do. But again, he he's a really skilled boxer at our level. And at his level, I think he is very skilled. Even if Doomsday was 100% dedicated, it would be a tough fight. Now we know that he really hasn't been dedicated, or at least it, we, we, we don't know because he hasn't been around really. So I, I think it's a huge question mark. I think Mitty should be the favorite, the betting favorite at this point, to be honest. Um, just because Doomsday is the bigger guy, is more well-known to the U.S. audience, doesn't necessarily mean much, I think. I think the Vegas odds makers know that that Mitty's the real deal. That Mitty could go in there and uh, put on a performance. Dude, I mean, if Doomsday doesn't turn it around, uh, Mitty can steal the U.S. audience. Um, Absolutely. We learned he could, be, he could be the Anthony Joshua, the Chris Eubank of Border Wars. We learned over this past month of October that he frequents from the United Kingdom to New Jersey at least twice a month for a week at a time and uh courtesy of me he was introduced to our trainer and our gym so he even trains there now the mornings before his work he's in our gym at six in the morning so when you spoke of dedication there it is right there um and what i mean by stealing the u.s audience is because he does, unlike Doomsday, make himself available. So on Fridays, he usually tries to not schedule things so that he could spar with us on Fridays and that we can hang out and things like that. So there'll be more and more footage of Coach Mitty 
at least from a U.S. side, which can steal and sway fans, to be honest. And listen, this time around, we have a uh, professional judge. We had Steve Willis. I, 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 I'm, I'm 100% sure he's still coming, even though Emma is no longer fighting because she's still coming. But we also have uh, Matt, the first original producer, OG. Uh, continues to confirm that he will be in attendance and he is a legitimate certified judge in Ohio um, and referee, I think. Yes. Vice versa, one of the two. So, um, yeah, he'll be there to do that. Uh, listen, I want to agree with Jose quickly. Like, yeah, you know, um, Doomsday has that power that could turn things around, but I don't know, man. It, that's a dangerous game plan to allow yourself to fall behind on the points because Mitty is an active fighter, but Mitty commits sins, all right? I know a lot of people are high on Mitty, and I see all these Team Mitty banners and everybody, Mitty, 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 and even you. Oh, he took a fight. Mitty has his hands low. Mitty is very critical when watching other fighters, and Mitty actually goes by coach. So I don't know if he thinks he's a coach or if he does coach, but Dude, he needs to coach himself on putting them hands up. Do you think that Doomsday uh, doesn't commit sins in the ring as well? Do you think that Doomsday is better I defensively? Think that Doomsday, I think that Doomsday commits sins. I think that, like Jose, his power erases all that. And I don't know if he erases all of that. I think it does. He erases and, some and, of and it. He erases fight, most of it. He erases no, most I think of it. it erases all that. I've watched him spar, you know, numerous times now. Numerous. He hits a guy and they lose, they lose their footing. Something happens, you know. Um, even in that sparring, that was even his his latest sparring, you've seen it. The guy was whooping his ass, mm -hmm. but the coach quickly had to say, "Wait a minute!" And the guy had to get his shit together. And in the real fight, that's a knockdown, or it's not counted as a knockdown, and the opponent is able to jump on top of you and kill you and finish you. Um, but the thing is, can Doomsday land it? Uh, and I'm going to say it's a high probability. We got three months, maybe midi style change, but he is European. He's European, which is odd because their hands should be higher, but his hands are low. His hands are low and he's being hit with shots. And that, that that's a welterweight. Romero is a welterweight. Yeah, but that was him before the weight cut. So I would presume that he would probably be walking around, what, 155-ish? You're crazy. Romero fought, like, two days ago. He had a Thursday night fight, bro. Like, yeah, but that was... When what he they... smart Mitty, he had to be, like, fucking 150, maybe. one 152, okay. maybe. And Mitty's one... Yeah. Like, guys can cut 10 pounds in a week. I don't know why. All right. But... All right, so let's give him 157. It doesn't matter. Mitty's 160. Okay. It's on camera somewhere. He's. I remember they asked him in the gym how much he weighed. And, and Wellington's a much better, more credential boxer than Doomsday is. All right, but it's still a smaller guy hitting Mitty, not it a is. bigger guy at one seventy five. A but guy that's coming. But, from, a, but look at the guy who is hitting him. That is why he is able to hit him. You get what I'm saying? Like it's because it is Wellington. If well, Wellington went up against Doomsday, Doomsday, Doomsday landed punches on Paul Wolak, landed punches on, on Glenn Tapia. Everyone Tapio. lands punches on Paul Wolak. Everyone lands punches on Paul Wolak. Yeah, he, he landed on Glenn Tapia, too. He's landed Everyone on... Everyone lands punches on Glenn Tapia, unfortunately. All right. Well, he's in there with pros. Show me your fucking resume where you're sparring pros. I'm not saying that I'm better than Doomsday. I don't know why you're making it like personal I'm like this. Saying I'm saying... saying not. I'm oh. not saying that you are. I'm just simply saying it cannot be assessed the same when the opposition isn't equal. I'm comparing... He's sparring high level guys. Yes, he is. And but, he's able to land. But for you but to say Mitty went to that land. gym. Mitty sparred the guys in that gym. But my point is if he can land on them, how could he not land on Mitty? Are you saying Mitty's no, that's, better? That, that's no. a better argument. That's a better argument. That's the same argument. But I, then I would go back and say, Wolak and Glenn Tapia aren't the guys you go up and say, well, look at his accuracy. Like, those aren't those guys. Like, All, if, right, I, I'm not, point, I'm my, all right, but my point is this. Are you saying that Mitty is better than Tapia and Wolak? No, no. All right. So this guy's holding his own with those guys. Yes. And he was in there with Iron Maj. He's been in there, bro. He's been in there. Listen. I'm not saying Doomsday is bad. I'm just saying he's his getting problem that is wanna, dedication. Wanna and his problem is dedication. And until he handles that, 
he's going to have a ton of problems because, you know, I agree that you with, with what you said. Mitty is, on the other hand, dedicated. He he is taking another fight. He's in a league. He, he, he's got to know, and he's not trying to let it go. And Doomsday is, you know, a pastime. But he's so into this sport that he's not going to treat it as one. Like, he respects everything about boxing, you know? You see his reasonings for certain match matches being made. So we know he's going into this 100%. Even though this isn't one of his league fights, he's still taking it as if it is. Um, let's get to Eric Babyface Garcia and Anthony Queen City Cobra Edwards. Babyface getting a lot of airtime. Anthony, um, you got to step it up. I'm just going to say. We, we we took shots early in the career of Anthony Edwards um, with his camera. I don't know if he's uh, handled that yet. It still seems a bit foggy. But um, outside of that, he is getting solid work. He's he's in there with pros, which is something that, you know, you and I love to see. Um, what do you think that that is doing for him i mean i feel like that pro that he's in there with is extremely tall i know it's unless it's more of a teaching thing mm -hmm. how i guess how good of a sparring partner is that heavyweight when he's fighting eric babyface garcia who obviously has a different style um, if you see Eric, he squats a lot. He likes to squat. He's got that one high hand, one low. The lead hand is low. And uh, he's a lot more intense than the heavyweight. I feel like the heavyweight that Anthony is sparring with is, again, more all, uh, kind of teaching. Agreed. Um, if they were going hard, I, I would not have an issue with it, uh, with the different styles and different sizes of, uh, of sparring partner compared to his actual opponent because – at this point, with all of us really being novices, I want you guys just, I want everyone to basically just spar with amateurs and pros. I want them to get that experience because regardless if they match your opponent, it doesn't matter. You need that experience because um, you don't have it. And going in there against guys that are highly decorated and are, and are skilled compared to your buddies is going to give you nerves up. It's going to get that energy up, that adrenaline up. It's going to simulate what it's going to be like in the fight in terms of emotions, the best possible way we can do. Um, like I spar amateurs that aren't Southpaws all the time because most people aren't Southpaws, even though my opponent is a Southpaw. Should I not spar those amateurs or pros because they're not Southpaw? No, I should still do that because it's an experience. Um, now you are right though. Anthony, uh, I know you're listening because you're on the line. I'm about to go to you. You do need to step it up a little bit in terms of intensity, at least from what we've seen. Uh, if you, I, I want to see just the camera step. I want to be able to see clearer, man. I, I'm well, that, that's an obvious. I know, I know. You already say that. I think that's kind of obvious. Um, can't see it though. But in terms of it, the content that we are watching itself, um, definitely need to step up the intensity. Um, step up the the punch volume. It's I a think, real fight. Yeah, you simulate a real fight like that. That's what sparring is supposed to be. If now, if it's teaching, like Ness said, and that's just what we've seen. So you saying he's hashtag pity pity pat? Again, if it's if it's just teaching sparring, which I'm okay with, I think everyone should do that as well. And you are also doing high intensity sparring, and we just aren't seeing that because you aren't sending it to us. Then I'm okay with that. I where, where are you that. leaning at, Matt? Where are you leaning so far? What do you mean? Like what he's what is he actually doing? No, leaning in terms of uh, oh, who's you know, winning? Yeah, who, who who's swaying? Who's getting your nod here? Anthony, man, like you. You're my boy because you 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 definitely give me a lot of love, but Garcia is going to be a tough style matchup for you. Um, there's one thing that you do specifically, Anthony, that will present a lot of issues if you do it in the fight. You cross your feet and you and you dip down and you lose all your balance, and you do that a lot. When you're backing up, you're gonna, you you put your back foot behind your front foot and then you bend and you squat down a bit. And it, think of it like football, like you're taught this, like. If you just get pushed over, you're going to fall, let alone if you get punched. So there's some technical things, Anthony, that I'm very worried about that you keep doing that seem to just be habits. And, and hopefully in the next three months, you get that done with. Because I think style-wise, 
boxers always beat a brawler. I think I think that's usually the case, especially at a novice level. And Anthony's a better boxer. So if he clears up those te- those little technical flaws in terms of footwork, in terms of balancing, I think he's going to negate a lot of the issues that Eric is going to present. If he goes in, if I see the version of Anthony we're seeing right now in January, I think he will lose. I think Anthony has to show me that um, he could take more pressure. Yes. Because it looks like Garcia's going to bring that that pressure nonstop. Let's go to him. <clears throat> I know he's probably got a mouthful. Anthony, Queen <laughs> City Cobra, Cincinnati, talk to me. What's going on, Edwards? What's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah, y'all, y'all have a week over here talking about the uh, the Splendor Brothers and shit. So, uh, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right about the footwork thing. That That is my number one Achilles heel, really, um, just getting with the footwork, you know, because obviously I've never boxed, so I'm used to different athletic things. Like, you know, I ran track, I played football, so the footwork has to come back in. And one little tidbit was, was that I actually tore my Achilles tendon a few years ago, so getting my footwork back to any athletic capabilities it's just been difficult so that is something i've been focused on um and uh the spartan that i sent you yeah yeah he's yeah obviously he's a lot taller so you know that was that was really mostly teaching i mean he hit me a couple times i hit him but uh it's man it's a big it's a big difference between amateurs and pros i, I can tell because even though he's like six four so yo he's got the quickest feet i've ever seen <laughs> like he stepped it was one time we were sparring he stepped to the side of me and i didn't even see it. Ooh, he was just over i'm like god damn like i thought i was fast but like this dude was like and so you know it's a different ball game it's good good you know with the sparring partner I, I got guys that are about my size you know trying to match him up with about the size of a uh, baby face so you know that's that's just you know for the I haven't gave you guys yet, but yeah, I'm working on it. So the foot the footwork is slowly coming, slowly but surely. Yeah, my coaches are getting on me about the uh, crossing, and so that's that's been a big emphasis. Uh, Where's that stamina at, the, bro? Uh, Talk to me about miles because some of the other participants, oh, you know, get outside. Well, I seen you sprinting in Break one video. I seen you sprinting in one video, yeah. so I, we just don't know what type of miles you're putting in. See, a, a bunch of us are all on Map My Run, and 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 we kind of uh, see each other's miles. The only one that doesn't map is obviously Matt, because I don't believe he runs. <laughs> but, um, Ness, oh, Ness, was my cardio not better? Was my cardio not better? Was your cardio not better? Your cardio, I, it wasn't tested because what happened oh, was you wanted out of here. Get Yo, the, you wait a minute. Back you, to Anthony. We're going back to Anthony because you're saying some bullshit right now. Rounds. Back to Anthony. You didn't do two rounds. <laughs> I did three rounds, motherfucker. Not straight. You did two. They wouldn't rounds. let me. They wouldn't let me. That's my point. That's and I wasn't point. tired. I wasn't hurt. It wasn't like any of that. They were just like, okay. nah, you're good. Okay, but they didn't let you come out in the third, so we didn't see what you look like in the third after oh, a straight. Come on. come on, bro. You know it I makes a fuck. Here. Back to Anthony. Back to yeah. Anthony. This bullshit. Yeah, yeah no, okay. No. Yeah, the, yeah. because the world Matt lives in, going six straight minutes and taking a break and doing another three is the same as going sh- uh, nine straight. That's not what I said. But again, I saying. wanted to do that, and you would not let me. So anyways... So back, then you were not allowed to back, go three straight. How could we assess the stamina? I don't know. You guys should have let me go. You guys should <laughs> let me go three rounds. That's your fault. Back right, to Anthony. Let's make it. Yeah, back to Anthony after you made it about you. Exactly. Back to Anthony. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm putting the miles in. I'm, I'm putting on an increase. Like I said, I ran track before, so the miles, for me, pushing myself won't be a problem. I'm actually about to get outside and run about four to five miles right now. Um. So yeah, the you know the stamina isn't a bit of an issue. Um, All right, cut the bullshit, Anthony. So um, Queen City Cobra, did you drop the new sparring? Did you see the new sparring or not? Uh, who's the new sparring? Uh, yeah, no, not mine's. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm. I would hope that you watch mine's too, but obviously, Eric Babyface yeah. versus Warren. Did you see that? 
I mean, when did that drop? Because I was looking at I was looking at Patreon today, looking to see if I found anything. Is that already out? Yeah, that got out. Yeah, that's like, out. Three hours ago, like two hours ago, maybe. Yeah, that's out. Man, it would have been lovely had oh, you seen okay. it. I'm a. That's why we. That's why mm, we're doing a show because. Uh, that's why we're doing a show because he impressed, and so did Warren. So, and plus there was. I don't a know little, if the word impressed yeah. is, is that good. Other, yeah, 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 yeah. Matt, I'm Matt kinda, is acting. I'm kind of interested in seeing this Warren guy. Matt is acting like 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 uh he wasn't impressed, but Warren, yo, I'm gonna be honest. No, I'm impressed by Garcia. Garcia was hitting Warren a lot. And let me tell you something, uh, Anthony. I think the opposite. I think it was fucking Warren combinationing, um, Eric. Wait till you see what? it. Oh wait God. till you see it. Yo, Warren looked good to me. And, but Yo, man, he saying, looked like trash. Let's move on, Anthony. And he's saying that that Garcia is the one that looked good. I think Warren was landing. <laughs> combos but look anthony go check it out no sense keeping you any longer if you haven't seen that we're gonna get and wrap this one up uh we've been on here far longer than we thought look at this man we love yeah. this border war shit man we, we knew that we we're gonna be on this long final thoughts matt you little fucking biased cheater hipster hunter Warren, show up this time well i mean look let's let the people know jose again that's why you know he deserves a promoter of the year award he handled the paperwork with immigration, the way that the promoters do. Remember uh, when Alfredo Angulo went to jail and he was in ICE and Golden Boy stood behind him and shit? Mm -hmm. That was pretty cool. And this is really what uh, Jose did. So shout out to Jose. He he spends a lot of unnecessary dollars on his friends. So I hope that they value his friendship. I hope when they listen to this show, they understand they, they got a good friend. And on Christmas, they look him out. He already got his winning knuckle guards, but he probably needs a winning waist protector. And I hear those Canadians are rich. So 250 in between six guys, that shit shouldn't be a problem. Give my boy Jose like a winning uh, waist protector for being a good guy. We'll get him a shirt assigned for being a great promoter. And a uh, super duper Border Wars participant continues to find willing bodies to participate. And uh, again, I'm excited for the Garcias. I'm excited for Anthony to go back and watch that because... Um, they they've brought a lot of spark into that Canadian camp and it has new life. And uh I'm excited. Imagine Zach 90 seconds knocks out Cruz. Can you imagine what our rematch is gonna be like? That shit would be huge. Pay-per-view worthy. I'm telling you, Zach. We need a cherry picker soundbite. Do we have that? Oh yeah. So if he knocked out Cruz, I'm still a cherry picker. I love that you think I'm that great. And yes. that's good. That's yeah, good. That's because you've been in the gym. You see what the fuck I do. I just want heavyweights to sign up. Oscar Martinez, Georgie fucking Paul G. Seconds. Know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, anybody. Those ridiculous people that keep saying they are going to, but we have not received your sign up. Sign up, man. Let's do this. I'm working. We working. Hashtag Border Wars. Final thoughts. Go. You can go, Ness. No, I'll you let you go. No, you can go. I'll light up. <laughs> uh, I am Matt, the Hipster Hunter. You can find me at Mixed Combat News on Twitter, Matt Hunter TBV on Instagram, and my MA podcast, Mixed Combat Radio, is on Patreon, SoundCloud, YouTube, iTunes, etc. You can find me also at the Rock Gym off of Torrance Boulevard and the 110 in about an hour and 30 minutes sparring. So, who you sparred? I don't know. Who's going to show up? I put out the bat signal for Team Flesh. <laughs> You know, anyone that wants to show up can show up. And I, I bring out the notes for anyone in L.A. Anyone in L.A. and the O.C. area. Not anyone. Somebody in your weight class, obviously. But, yeah, like no, like 260-pounders can get in there with me. But, yeah, if you want to get in there, you get some work, or at least come train with us. You can come train with us. West Coast style, you know. Come to the Rock off Torrance Boulevard in the 110. Uh, and Warren, show up. Please show up. It's body bag season in this bitch. I'm out. Iron Sal bumped his head. Come down to 165 and I'll fight you. You guys are crazy. That's a duck if I've ever heard it. Yo, on that note, we out. <laughs>